All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing my Premier League table predictions for the 2024 25 season. Without further ado, let's get started. 20th Ipswich. Yeah, sorry, Ipswich fans, but your season is definitely cut short. Apparently, you've, you have got some good signs in there, like Ben Johnson, Liam DeLapp, Sammy Smodix is on his way. And then also you're in talks with Armando Broja and you're edging closer to sign Calvin Phillips, which are decent signings, but, but I'm still going to say sorry, Ipswich, but you're definitely going to finish in 20th. And yeah, I'm predicting you to finish 20th. 19th, Southampton. Okay, um, apart from Flynn Downs and possibly Cameron Archer and Leslie Ogachokwu, um, and obviously you have made some other good signings in Southampton, but I still think that's not enough to get you to stay in the Premier League for another year. But but yeah, sorry Southampton fans, uh, I'm predicting you to finish 19th. 18th, Leicester. Yeah, same situation as two seasons ago. Um, I think Leicester are going to finish in 18th. Yes, I do think the window has been very tough on Leicester, but they will, apparently they will have a points deduction, but I don't know how many points deductions they're, points they're going to get deducted for, but yeah, whatever it is, Leicester fans will have to take it on the chin. But yeah, I am, but yeah, in the end, I predict you, Leicester, to finish 18th. 17th, West Ham. Okay, guys, before you have a go at me and think, am I deluded? Yes, it is that option. That I have, I am an idiot for doing this. But this is the fifth time in a row I'm putting West Ham 17th. Yes, most of the time I've put them 16th. And about... Three or four occasions, they have finished in the top half. And a couple of those were European spots. So, I'm doing it again for the fifth time in a row. I'm putting West Ham 17th. And, yeah, I think I might have 100% regretted this decision. Because the signings we made are unbelievable. And, yeah, sorry West Ham, but... I'm predicting you to finish 17th because I just think Lopetegui has come in. He's done okay. And I've, and uh, and also we are playing a new style of football, which is going to take some time. But, but yeah, that's why I'm putting West Ham to finish 17th. But please prove me wrong. But please prove me wrong, West Ham. And, and yeah, good luck for the season, West Ham. And... And yeah, this is going to be a massive regret at the end of the season. 16th, Wolves. The reason why I put Wolves 16th is because obviously they have sold key players like Max Kilman and Pedro Neto. And yeah, sorry to say this, Wolves, but I'm predicting you to finish 16th. And good luck. 15th, Nottingham Forest. I think Nottingham Forest are going to have a struggle season again, just like last year. And, yeah, Nottingham Forest, I predict you to finish 15th, and good luck for the season. 14th, Fulham. Yeah, Fulham are playing tonight, but sadly, it is going to be your first defeat, in my opinion, Fulham. Uh, but, yeah, the signings you've made have been really good. The one signing that I think will be, will be brilliant for you guys is Emil Smith-Rowe, and... Yeah, and yeah, Fulham, I predict you to finish 14th. It's going to be an okay season for you, um, Fulham. But yeah, good luck. 13th, Bournemouth. Bournemouth have really surprised me last season. And yeah, they did really well last season. And now I think you're going to go a little bit off season because obviously with the loss of Dominic Solanke and, and some other key players... Along the way as well, Bournemouth. But but I think Bournemouth are going to have a good season. And I predicted Bournemouth to finish 13th. And good luck, Bournemouth. 12th, Crystal Palace. 
I would have put Crystal Palace a bit higher if they kept Michael Olise, but now that Olise is gone, and in comes Ismail Assar, who is a good, good player, but he's just not Michael Olise. Uh, but yeah, I predicted Crystal Palace to finish 12th, and yeah, good luck, Crystal Palace. 11th, Brentford. Yeah, I'm putting Brentford 11th, but that mainly depends on Ivan Tony, whether he's going to stay or is he going to go. That's just my honest opinion. But, yeah, I think Brentford are going to have a good, good season. Finish 11th. And, yeah, good luck, Brentford. 10th, Brighton. Brighton have been really good. Brighton have been good for the last couple of seasons. And, yeah, and I just think, and the signings that Brighton have made throughout the transfer window have been really good. Have been good, good. And, yeah. I think Brighton's season is going to be good, is going to be, is going to be good. And I'm putting Brighton to finish in the top half in 10th. And also, good luck Brighton. 9th, Everton. I may massively regret this decision. Even though I think the West Ham one is worse. But I think Everton, this year, will turn it around massively. This is their moment to shine. Obviously, with signings like Jake O'Brien, Jasper Lindstrom are decent players. And the only thing that I would say is probably has let, let Everton down is the loss of Amadou Onana. And, yeah, it is going to be a nut. It is gonna, but I think this year, Everton will turn it around and have a big improvement this year. So, Everton... I'm predicting you to finish ninth, and good luck. Eighth, Aston Villa. Yeah, I think Europe is gonna. I think Europe is going to really tire out the Aston Villa players and possibly the fans as well, because obviously Aston Villa are in the Champions League, and I just think playing in the Champions League against some of the best clubs in the world is really gonna is really gonna like tire out Aston Villa and and other things but yeah I think it's going to be another great season for Aston Villa but but Aston Villa I predict you to finish eighth and good luck Aston Villa seventh Newcastle I think Newcastle are gonna have another superb season like they did last year um Again, Newcastle have made some great signs, but the one key player that Newcastle really want to come in is Mark Gway from Crystal Palace. Um, but yeah, two bids have been rejected, or three bids have been rejected, and now they're just going in with a fourth bid for Mark Gway. Um, but yeah, I think Newcastle are going to have a, another superb season. And I predicted Newcastle to finish seventh and get and get European football in the Conference League. So, good luck to you, Newcastle fans. Sixth, Tottenham. I think Tottenham are going to have another good season. Especially, they've got the likes of Dominic Solanke and they've just bought in Wilson Oliver from Burnley, who are two good players. And. Yeah, I think Tottenham going to finish 6th and they'll get Europa League. So, good luck Tottenham and hopefully you finish 6th. 5th, Chelsea. I think this is going to be Chelsea's year. Uh, not for Champions League wise, for prediction. But, but I think Chelsea are going to have a great season. Even though they started off so bad or badly... And then in the end, they massively turn it around thanks to Cole Palmer. And I think, and I just think Chelsea are going to have a massive good season, great season. And Chelsea, are, I predict Chelsea to finish fifth and get Europa League football. So, good luck, Chelsea. Fourth, Manchester United. This is, this is the year where Manchester United will be back. Because, because, look at the signings Man United have made. Mateus De Ligt, Lenny Euro. Yeah, hold on. Mateus De Ligt, Lenny Euro, Mazarawi, 
and Joshua Zerxi. Oh, I'm trying to think of the other defender that Man United have signed. It was, I know it was Delict, Euro, Maserawi, and Joshua Zerxi. Those four will be incredible signings. But as in terms of as in terms of where I put Man United to finish, this is the year Man United will be back, and I predicted Manchester United to finish fourth. Third, Liverpool. I yes, I do think Liverpool are going to have a fantastic season again, but in under Arna slot, I think you guys will probably finish third. So yeah, good luck to you, Liverpool, but another great season from you. Second, Arsenal. This is a massive, massive debate because it just depends on how on how many points or whatever happens in somewhere in September where Manchester City get their get whatever the outcome for their 115 charges. But but for now, I've put Arsenal second and they're going to have a sublime season. And yeah, but I think this year, I just think if they made, if they can do it again, like last year, then I would say next year you'll be ready, Arsenal. But sadly, on this occasion, not just yet and not this year. But I do think it'll be your year, Arsenal, but not this one. But yeah, I predicted Arsenal to finish second, and good luck. First, Manchester City. Yeah, Manchester City masterclass coming up once again from Pep Guardiola. But, again, it just depends. Like I said, for the Arsenal one, it depends on the, the charges and the outcome of what Manchester City will get in the outcome of 115 charges. But yeah... But yeah, I do see another masterclass this season from Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. Even though they've lost Julian Alvarez to Atletico Madrid and Oscar Bob out for seven months. Um, but yeah, Man City have just got a, got a quality, world-class squad. And I think they'll do the job and they'll finish in first place. And yeah, good luck Manchester City. And Pep Guardiola. And yeah, another masterclass season from Manchester City. Uh, yeah, that is it for this video, uh, guys. Um, that is it for this video. And like I said, I'll come back in May. When the season ends in May, I'm going to be reacting to my championship predictions and my Premier League predictions. Unfortunately, this year, guys, there will be no Euro European predictions because if West Ham were in the Conference League, Europa League or Champions League, I would definitely do those predictions. But, but unfortunately, not this year. There will be no Champions League predictions, no, Euro no Europa League and no Conference League predictions. But I'm going to say who the winners will be. So... For the, for the Champions League, Real Madrid, Europa League, I'm going to go, I think Tottenham are in Europa League, but yeah. And then Conference League, I'm going to say Chelsea will win the Conference League. Uh, they, I reckon, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say Man U will win Europa League and Chelsea will and Chelsea surely they'll win the Europa Conference League. But yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for listening to this video. And like I said, please smash the likes, smash the comments, and smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications on for more videos like these predictions. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, adios and come on you irons.